Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Everyday and Adventure. Today we're going to be discussing my 44 Magnum uh, by Taurus. It's the Taurus Tracker. It's five shot. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so this is my uh, this is my everyday carry piece. Um, not for like in town or concealed carry, but for uh, around the around the homestead. Um, Let's go over some specs real quick. Uh, so as I said, it's a 44 Magnum 5 shot. Um, it's got a ported barrel, as you can see there. Um, medium frame, the barrel length is uh, 4 inches, overall length 9 inches, overall height 5.3 inches. Um, it's 1.6 wide. Or 1.6 inches wide and 35 ounces unloaded. Uh, it's got a one in 18.75 uh, inch right hand uh, twist. Um, these are uh, well, I can't really get it to focus on them, but these are HKS uh, speed loaders. I just got them at the local hardware store. Uh, I carry this in a, a cheapy size two Allen. Um, holster. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a rag stuffed in there because it's just a little bit long. And without the rag, when you put when you put the revolver in the holster, um, it would sit a little bit too deep, and the rear sight would get caught on this little piece of nylon um, when you went to draw it. Uh, so with the little rag that I've got stuffed in there, that works out pretty good at keeping it um, nice and at the correct depth, uh, so I can I can yank it real really quick. And uh, okay, so my experiences with this gun. Here, let's get it unloaded real quick. All right, it's clear. And, uh, so my experiences with this gun are, um, it's actually really, it's been really reliable, but, uh, the original black oxide coating, um, got really rusty within the first couple of weeks I have, and I, uh, carried this in a backpack for a while, and with just the moisture around it, it was really rusting up, uh, so I just took and, um, roughed it up with some, uh, Scotch-Brite, and, as you can see, it's got like a weathered finish now, but it's not, it's not rusty. It's not, and, or, or battered up. It's just, uh, I had to do that in order to, uh, get the original coating off that was rusting up pretty bad. Um, as you can see, you know, I've got a bunch of dust and dirt on there because this is literally the gun I carry every day. So yeah, it's going to have, it's going to have all that, uh, I don't really bother cleaning it unless I need to, or unless I'm shooting it a lot. Um, the rounds I'm, I have for this right now are Hornady's. Uh, I think these are, uh, these are specifically lever gun rounds, but they're short enough they fit in the cylinder just fine. Um, I just wanted, I wanted the polymer tips uh, so that they would speed load a little easier because these speed loaders suck and have way too much wiggle room. I need something that's built a little bit more specifically um, for this cylinder. But other than that, I mean, it speed loads okay. Uh, I'm not going to show that because I don't have a second second pair of hands to operate the camera. But uh, it speed loads good. Um, uh, the price point was right around $600. I think I may have gotten it a little bit cheaper um, at one of the local hardware stores. And let's get let's get some uh, rounds down range. I've got the range set up and uh, fixed up for the day, so we can take a couple uh, shots at some steel and let's get after it. Okay, well that is a failure, let's 
drop the hammer, open the cylinder. What happened? Okay, we're gonna pull the rounds out of the chamber and Weird. That's the first time I've ever had a failure with this gun. Live on camera. Interesting. So. Let's uh, pull some more shells out and see if we can get it to do it again. put the two in that aren't fired hands are awful cold today I'm piss poor shot <laughs> all right there's one in the cylinder Okay, a little bit more sturdy now. All right, for speed loading this, I just run this button down, fingers through, and then set my speed loader in. As I said, sometimes it's not particularly easy. And then it loads just like that. So that was my review of the Tracker 44, 44 Magnum from Taurus. And as you saw today, we had some malfunctions on the range. Those malfunctions were not the fault of the firearm. Those were the fault of the gun being dirty. So that was on me as a shooter to have cleaned that gun prior to doing a review on the firearm. However, I wanted to see how it would run like I would normally run it because I don't normally clean it that often. And I can tell now that I need to integrate this this firearm into a more string, stringent uh, policy for maintenance and lubrication. If you enjoyed the video, click like, subscribe, comment. I hope you're having a great day. I appreciate the views. Have a good one.